In the summer of 2021, we had an extraordinarily hot stretch. Avista made the ask to consumers on the grid to use less power. And we found an opportunity in Pullman and in Lewiston with our factories and other buildings to reduce consumption and be able to contribute to that effort. We have several factories. We have a major factory in Lewiston that's a quarter million square feet. We have a total of about a million square feet in Pullman alone spread between 16 buildings. The facilities at Schweitzer Engineering are consuming a decent amount of uh, power, multiple megawatts on one feeder from the south side of town, multiple megawatts from a feeder on the north side of town. We have people doing their uh, daily office work and we don't want to uh, interrupt them. Then we have a very high value production facility that's making products. So we need 100% reliable power, 100% uptime, and it adds up to a substantial amount of uh, power consumption but there's still some strategies we could employ to be able to reduce the peak demand on our utility that's serving us during requests for demand response. One of the first things that came to our mind was to shut off some of the lighting loads in the buildings, which are a significant part of energy consumption in a commercial building. Other loads that came to mind were large HVAC conditioning loads of large compressors that provide comfort level cooling to the building spaces. Many of our buildings are on building telemetry, which means I can adjust the set points from my computer. The other spaces that are not on building telemetry, we physically went to those buildings and turned set points up. And that was a team effort. We all spread out. We just kind of picked buildings and said, I'll take this one, I'll take this one. Turned off building lighting loads as necessary. And many of our conference rooms on campus have a large monitor. We turn those off as well and the, the computer behind the monitor. So if you do that a hundred times, there's quite a bit of consumption that you've eliminated. One of the greatest things about that project was our SEL metering. We track everything in every building to the kilowatt hour, the gallon and the therm. We're always tracking all of our utilities. I didn't think that it would make a big enough difference that it would show. And when Eddie Schweitzer brought the meter data from our SEL meters, proving that our consumption rate had gone down so significantly in one day by making those small adjustments, it was an eye-opening thing for me and knowing that, hey, we can make changes that don't affect us enough to notice, however, make a significant difference in the power grid that's taxed in our area. What's pretty cool about this is you can see there's a Sunday. We all come to work on Monday. Tuesday afternoon, we get the notification from the utility that says, hey, can you guys help out? And, and even though Wednesday was hotter than Tuesday, we were lower on the load. We know exactly when those uh, building management system profiles changed. We were able to look at the energy consumption during the same time, plot temperature on top of that, and actually see a decrease in demand, even though the temperature was going up. And that's 60 kilowatts of demand difference. That's pretty significant. And you think about a house might be two kilowatts if the AC is not running. Yeah. So that's like 30 houses being pulled off that's of crazy. the feeder uh, for here, which is pretty cool. And take that and multiply it by 10 buildings. Exactly. So you made a half a megawatt change across the campus. In a matter of a few minutes, really. We learned something new during that heat wave, and, and that is that our large buildings can have a huge impact on the grid and on the community. And if it's the difference between 100 homes having to shut off their cooling in the middle of the day or changing our set points up, turning off the lights, turning off conference room monitors so that those homes can remain cool and comfortable for our community, that matters to us. The employees at SEL all helped with open arms because we care about our community. And if it's gonna help, we're gonna do it with a smile on our face because it's the right thing to do.